guys welcome back to the channel once again welcome to a brand new video now today you join me out here at daytona for supercar sunday my buddy sean is here with me hey. as always Always. So there's plenty of cars like SVJs, oh, yes, there's definitely. McLarens, there's definitely. AMGs, there's everything out here. And also inside the dealership, there are cars for the Daytona Rally. So we'll quickly hop inside there and see what's happening. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. stretching down there so it's more of a vlogging type of video everyone is taking pictures everyone is taking videos so yeah so what do we have here we have this interesting looking Huracan LP16 with like a body kit on it I don't know what kit this is and this lovely Aventador SVJ oh my word the Tricolore stripe is very it's a, quite a nice touch and also the paint looks satin so like a blend between it's kind of like a shiny matte color which looks really lovely also has uh, these bronze brake calipers I don't know if you guys can tell but yeah the brake calipers are bronze the SVJ is just one of the wildest looking cars I think six and a half liter are naturally aspirated v12 with about 770 matrix horsepower which is just insane get the diffuser insane alfa romeo uh, 4c i don't know if alfa romeo is still making this but it was quite a cool car you know a very small compact lightweight vehicle also having uh, a carbon fiber chassis with about i think a 1.8 liter engine can't really remember there's about 240 horsepower they're about not much but because of how lightweight it is it makes for a very very good driving car but yeah i love it looks good for sure uh, we have this mclaren 650s which is very dirty i don't know where it's been hibernating but it's very filthy next to it we have this mercedes sls amg i think this was the launch spec these rims and the color very very nice big engine up front a very long nose must make for a very unique uh, driving experience 6 6.2 liter naturally aspirated uh, v8 with about i think 570 horsepower they're about uh ferrari 488 gtb 660 horsepower or uh, 3.9 liter uh twin turbo yeah the name 488 comes from uh the size of each uh, cylinder bank which is about 488 cubic capacity that's where the name 48 is derived but yeah v8 like i already mentioned around i think 760 newton meters of torque but yeah we have the original cayman gt4 i should say uh, i think these came out when around 2015 I'm not mistaken oh next to it we have the new one actually didn't notice that very cool to see the previous gen next to the new gen but yeah very clean very lovely McLaren 720s one of my most favorite supercars this thing is just a serious bank for buck I mean the way it's so quick hey like it demolishes so many cars uh, 4 liter twin turbo v8 
uh, 720 matrix horsepower as the name suggests 720s uh yeah that's pretty much it this one has a whole lot of carbon fiber like in the eye socket around uh the side of the front bumper on the front splitter and so on just glistening and also on the roof and the mirrors very nice carbon fiber everywhere very clean so we have a 911 uh, Carrera GTS here in silver. I love silver cars. I think silver is one of my most favorite colors on a car. This R8 looks interesting with this wrap. Sort of like an artistic wrap with some skulls and flowers all over. I do like it. I like it. It's cool. It's really nice. Uh, it looks like an art piece rather. So we have a Mercedes C63S and this turquoise blue uh, it's a wrap I believe which has a satin finish to it it looks very nice the finish on the wrap is very really clean I love it Brabus logo uh, switched uh, from uh, the Mercedes blue point star but yeah lovely I love the C63 uh, we have an F-type as we are I believe Roadstar carbon fiber wing yeah SVR one of the best sounding cars by far like the sound that comes out of this I think it's a five liter supercharged motor can't really remember but I think it has about 575 horsepower very very lovely I think this was the the high performance version of the normal F type the SVR but yeah these are one of the coolest cars and they have depreciated a lot so it would be nice to buy one of these another McLaren 650S but this time in white saw this during the SA Talk run uh, but yeah BMW 1 Series Coupe not sure if this might be a 125i or 135i let me just check it sounded very interesting when it was coming up here 125i yeah something has definitely been done to the exhaust but yeah the lineup continues down there so we have a 997 gt3 i believe i think i'm getting my porsche uh, knowledge right nowadays oh it says carrera s i was wrong but this wing definitely looks like a gt3 wing but at least i could tell that it's a 997 generation but yeah this mclaren 720s is wow the color alone and these rims i think these are vossen rims ah oh, it looks looks beautiful i think this paint color is papaya spark i'm not really sure there's so many different names to all these paint colors from different manufacturers that's just even it's not worth it trying to cram all the names but we have a gt3 rs here first gen uh 991.1 very very lovely these are one of my favorite cars recently did a review on one and it was so cool but yeah i think four liter if i'm not mistaken four liter flat six 520 horsepower insane machine i tell you and gt2 rs this is really nice 911.2 gt2 rs carbon fiber glistening everywhere look at it so 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six 700 matrix horsepower and i think over 700 newton meters of torque this thing is mad yes this one is very interesting with all these red touches within the cutouts on the rims there's some red touches within the interior have a red on the neck adapts and yeah and also this badge is a sticker for weight saving purposes a sticker hmm. very fly hmm. gt2 rs i approve <laughs>
I'm the fun. AMG, the second one I'm showing you guys today. This wrap is very interesting. I think it's a holographic wrap, but right now because it's parked in the shade, it's hard to see the color switches. But when you see it in the bright sunlight, it looks mad. But yeah, the SLS AMG, a purely based AMG car, so built from the ground up. As an AMG car, there is no Mercedes-Benz version of this. There is no SLS 200 or whatever. It's strictly an AMG car. But yeah, very lovely. I think it's a modern classic. We have a McLaren R600 LT here in front of a 675 LT. Two of McLaren's track-focused cars are the 600 LT based on uh, the 570S and the 675 LT based on the 650S. Very nice. I have a very lovely looking Alfa Romeo, Giulia Quadrifoglio in this colour changing wrap I think it switches between purple, bronzish, brownish colour but yeah, very very nice Oh, 
kilometer. Thank <laughs> you. 